Semiconductor laser is another type of laser which has a wide variety of applications. The efficiency of semiconductor laser is superior to any other type of laser. In this laser, the active medium is a semiconducting material. However, the semiconducting material should have certain properties. At first, it should be a direct band gap semiconductor. In this type of semiconductors, the recombination of electrons and holes occur without any change in the momentum of the electron. This process will release photons. In the indirect band gap semiconductors, the momentum of the electron will change in the recombination process. This process releases heat in the form of phonons. So, the semiconducting material should be a direct band gap semiconductor if it has to be used as an active medium. This is the criteria number one. The second criteria is that it should be a degenerative semiconductor. This means that the n-type and p-type regions are heavily doped. This heavily doped semiconductor will be beneficial in achieving the lasing action as more number of electrons and holes are available for recombination. Now, we have a special semiconductor material which satisfies both the criteria. The material is gallium arsenide. Gallium arsenide laser is one of the earliest semiconductor devices. So, what is the major difference between a normal semiconductor material and the gallium arsenide? Let's take a look. The recombination of holes and electrons in a silicon or a germanium semiconductor will release the energy in the form of heat. Whereas, the recombination of holes and electrons in the gallium arsenide semiconductor releases the energy in the form of light or photons. This is the reason to use gallium arsenide as an active medium in the semiconductor laser. Now, let us learn about the construction of gallium arsenide laser. Gallium arsenide laser falls under the category of homojunction semiconductor laser. This means there is only one junction separating the p-type and n-type regions. These homojunction lasers are made of only one compound such as gallium arsenide. The compound is made into two layers. One layer will be heavily doped with p-type impurities to make it a p-type material and the second layer will be heavily doped with n-type impurities to make it an n-type material. A junction zone separates them. So here we have a p-n junction. As we said earlier, both the regions will be heavily doped. It will be in the order of 10 power 17 or 10 power 19 dopant atoms per centimeter cube. But the overall size of the diode is very small. The p-n junction will be in the order of 1 micrometer to 100 micrometers. Two parallel sides of the p-n junction are polished. One end is made highly reflective and the other end is made partially reflective. These planes play the role of reflecting mirrors. The other two ends are roughened to avoid any reflections. Two metallic contacts are attached at the top and bottom of the p-type and n-type regions to apply forward bias voltage. This is the basic structure of gallium arsenide semiconductor laser. Now it's time to look at the operation. If we apply a small forward voltage across the terminals, an electric field will be set up and the junction barrier will be broken. Holes from p-type region and electrons from n-type region are pushed towards the p-n junction. At the junction, the recombination of holes and electrons take place. Due to the recombination, photons will be released. These photons will travel in a random direction. This is similar to spontaneous emission. If we increase the forward voltage, we reach the stage of the population inversion. At this stage, more number of hole and electrons will recombine and release photons. We can understand the entire process in a better way through the energy level diagram of the semiconductor. Here we have the energy level diagram. We have conduction and valence band in both the regions. 
AC is the bottom most level in the conduction band. EV is the top most level in the valence band. The depletion region is denoted through a slope between the p-type and n-type regions. We also have Fermi levels in both the regions. The area below the Fermi level is considered to be full of electrons. We'll get the same Fermi level in both the regions as they are in thermal equilibrium. Now, if we apply some forward voltage, the depletion layer will become narrower. Due to this, the Fermi level in the p-type moves down and the Fermi level in the n-type moves up. The electrons will be pushed towards the depletion region from n-type and the holes will be pushed towards the depletion region from the p-type. The recombination will occur at the depletion region. If the forward bias voltage is increased to a sufficiently high value, more number of electrons and holes will be pushed towards the depletion region. The depletion region will become very thin. The depletion region in the conduction band has a high concentration of electrons, whereas the depletion region in the valence band has a high concentration of holes and a minimal number of electrons. Therefore, we have a high concentration of electrons at the conduction band compared to the valence band. This is nothing but the stage of population inversion. Due to this, more number of photons will be released as more number of electrons and holes recombine. Like this, the recombination takes place continuously until the forward voltage is removed. As we have polished the two parallel surfaces of the p-n junction, the photons will travel back and forth and build up a highly directional monochromatic laser beam. The laser beam will come out from the partially polished plane. This is all about the semiconductor laser. To sum up, we learnt about the criteria of semiconductor materials such as direct band gap, degenerative semiconductors, then we learnt about the construction of gallium arsenide laser which involves homojunction, heavy doping and two polished surfaces. Finally, we learnt about the operation through the energy level diagram. In the next video, we look at the applications of lasers. That will be the last video of this module.